We are waiting for some Fulham interviews. I couldn't begin to tell you who's going to speak to us, who's allowed to speak to us, who's left, <laughs> what they're doing just at the moment. I'm sure somebody yeah, the, will. Yeah, the problem is, though, is what Fulham has been mentioned. It's the suspensions in terms of their league campaigns. You know, it's big issues for them just getting them yeah. sending off. So I think it's OK when a player goes in and he mistimes a tackle, but when it's for a bit of madness like that, you know, there's a heavy price to pay for that, for the sending off <coughs> going into their league campaign. Yeah. You look at it and you think to yourself, well, the manager's been sent off, can't, that's for dissent. And then you're looking at what Mitrovic done. So what's the manager going to say to Mitrovic? He can't really, what's he going to, he can't pull him up because he's just as guilty. You know, you, you need your manager to be in control in that moment. That, that, that's the point, isn't mm. it? When what Mitrovic did was, 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 was imbecilic, wasn't it? But, yeah. but the manager himself needs to go, well, he's going to get sent off because he's denying an obvious goal-scoring opportunity with his hand. I just need to keep calm. As we say, he might miss the penalty, yeah. 50 minutes to go, come what yeah. may. There's a way of doing this. I mean, you train, you train with 10, don't you? I mean, you're used to that, playing with 10, the way that you're going to go about it with 10. But I think we talk about frustration, how you behave on the sideline, but he will be looking at that opportunity, and he'll almost know that, you know, he probably knows there is a sending off coming mm -hmm. for the player. He yes. thinks he's given the penalty. So you've got to, to think him. about it, what you're going to, how you're going and to And I think there'll be frustration that he'll see it, he'll see that we had an opportunity where nearly, we nearly went 2-0 yeah. up or whatever it might be <coughs> and it just, mm. it's falling apart in front of his eyes. Yes. So I will try and defend him. Like, listen, I've been a manager and you, you stand there and, and there's great expectation. They think, can they win all traffic? And he sees a falling apart in front of him. We don't know what he said to the referee because the referee have just had a wee word and yeah, given a yellow card. Yeah. But yeah, but Roy, you, you say he's seen it fall apart. When you look at that, that that's a penalty. So I yeah. don't know what he's upset about in that instance. So I can't understand why he's... So angry with the fourth official or whatever he's doing to get himself in a position where he's sent the off. Frustration is probably thinking we should be two nil up, and he see them one or two opportunities. He maybe. knows when United get back to. Yeah. You think, listen, law of average is going to score a penalty, and then you but think United will be back in the game. Whereas I think he's looking at the performance going, we probably should be two nil up. Yeah. I'm looking at a manager that probably, if I was a manager, I'd be doing exactly what Silver's just done. <laughs> Which is why you're better off in That's here. That's exactly why I'm in here. That's why I'm in here. <laughs> but he should be getting, if he's protesting, some of his staff should be maybe doing it more than yes, the manager. Yes. So he can step back a yeah. little bit and go, Share well, I'm just going to get sacrificed. Yeah. It's yes. not the boss. Yeah. I think Bermotti tried to stop him, but it was, <laughs> tried, it was but too, too late. late. Yeah. That's why we were like, too okay, late, it's too late. late. I mean, it is amazing, isn't it, how football just changes like that. In an instant, we're sitting there. When he heads the one, because we had a really good angle from yeah, here, when Mitchell yeah. heads it wide, we go, oh, is that the moment to make it 2-0? Mm. Absolutely changes. Yeah, but it's not just like, we, you come to Old Trafford, as tough as it is, it's going to be tough. And like, I totally understand what Roy's saying. He's seen the game, seen the game um, running away from him. But that's when you need to go yeah. to the car place. That's what you need to do. Right, we can now hear from Marco Silva. How do you sum that all up? Because it was crazy, and of course, I think there's the feeling that Fulham imploded. Would you agree? Let's talk about all, all the game and not just about one moment. I think it's, it's, the, it's fair enough with our team to talk about uh, the game and not just one moment the game. And until that moment, until the penalty moment and the, the red card, we were clear the best team on the pitch, clear. We came here to play at the World Turfer, like I said to you before the match, and you were the best team on the pitch, clear. We faced, we match Man United, of course we respect them, but clearly we are the, the, be the best team on the pitch. After a corner for us, the contra-attack, wait, the contra-attack and we um, was red card. And for me, was a decision that the VAR can take. Um, what is difficult for us to understand, why the two moments in the, their, their box, first half, and that he's clear, one of them is clear a penalty on Mitrovic, and no one check, no one see, no one wants to see anything. Would you agree though, Mark, that you, let your let your team down today, and that your team imploded today. Oh no, I don't, I don't. Why, why? Uh, of course, in that moment, I, I shouldn't be sent off. Of course, um, it's something that, uh, if you ask me, if if something that I want to, to that happen, of course not. I, I have to be there. It's my place to be there, and of course, I, um, that moment. If you ask me, if I did something that I. I'm really happy with, of course not. If you ask me that it should be a red card, I have big doubts because I would like to, to know what the referee is going to write, what I said to him. Because he cannot, he, he has to say, and of course he's writing the truth and was not really something that make him to, 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 to give him the red card. Probably I was out of the, the position that I should be. I was close to um, where he was watching the screen. Definitely, and should be yellow card in that moment because I didn't say anything to him that was um, to get to get red card. It feels like a missed chance, doesn't it? Because your team played so well. Yes, definitely, and sometimes it's difficult to be full and to play against Man United, Man United at Old Trafford. On the pitch, we were the best team until that moment, clearly, clearly. 
And for us, it's difficult to understand because, um, unfortunately for us, Chris was in a, a, a game again that we play away against West Ham that no one understood what's happening in that game. We lost the game with two clear and balls. Was and for, was Chris Kavanagh in that moment? We received the apologies because the mistakes, blah blah blah. Okay, came the last game against Leeds at home in the FA Cup. Was him again? And for a game that his quarters finals came, came him again. For us, it's difficult to understand one situation like that. Of course, we respect. He's a, he's a, he's a top referee in, in, in this country. I accept that. But in 40 for us, with us, he's being really unhappy this, this, this season. What can you say about Alexander Mitrovic? Because he obviously received a red card as well, and, and what he did with the referee. OK, in that moment, of course, he has to control much more than um, his emotions, like I, uh, all of us, we should do. But that's the sort of thing, isn't it, to a degree, Marco, that, that that's where you want your players to keep their cool. That's where if you're going to go through in a tie like this, you have to keep your cool. No, we have to keep to keep the balance, to keep the emotional balance. Uh, of course, uh, sometimes it's, it's, it is not easy, but it's our obligation to do it. I agree with you, um, but I prefer to look for all the game as well, to look what we what we did. Moments that we have to learn from, definitely. Uh, but it's been a, a, a tough season in some moments for us. We, you know that we are full and we don't have the same uh, importance in this, in this football for sure than like the others, like Man United. But it's difficult for us to, to deal with some situations. And when some, some situations, of course, we have to control better. The, it was a penalty, though, wasn't it? Was, was it not a handball? You want to talk about the three penalties because you are talking just about one moment. You want to talk about the other moments in the box. Have you seen as well? Have you watched? What is your opinion? Because you are asking just about one moment. Why don't ask me about the other two moments as well? This is the thing, you know. Of course, if you want, to, I can talk about that moment, but I talk about the others as well. I understand that. Um, going forward, of course, now you'll have the issues, I suppose, with suspensions, which might affect the Premier League moving forward. You, 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 you're going to have to recover from this. Of course, it's our obligation to do. Of course, a, it was a really important moment for us. I think we, um, we showed um, this afternoon how we really wanted to be in, in semi-finals, how we deserve to be in the semi-finals. One moment that we should control in a different way, and the emotions as well, that we, what we can control. And the situation clear, I should be there, I, don't, should, I, I shouldn't get red card, all these situations, other moments we cannot control. And unfortunately for us, this afternoon made a huge impact in the game.